this is Sarah, and today I am working on my tentacle design. No, not a tentacle, it's a stem. It just happens to be very tentacle-like. Um, <laughs> so I did a second revision of my squishy silicone vertebrae pieces based on the feedback that I received from everybody on YouTube and Reddit. Thank you, you guys are awesome. So what I've gone ahead and um, I could probably show you so this is one of the original molds from last week. As you can see, um, there is one central hollow piece for my uh, cord to go through, and then there's three individual holes around the outside for the uh, wire, the wire that will be pulled to uh, bend the st stem in a direction. Um, what I went ahead and did for this uh, the new revision, as you can see, I, I have three three pegs, so I have three holes on each axis. So the reason that I did this is so that uh, I can have three different pulleys of, you know, varying lengths, and depending on which one is being uh, tugged at, it will specifically uh, cause the stem to bend at, like, a different point. That way I can get better articulation throughout the entire length of the stem, not just from the top straight down. The other thing you might notice there's these dimples at the very bottom, and the reason I went ahead and added these dimples is so that I can register each of the uh, vertebrae. Uh, I went ahead and uh, molded some of these, and um, I had some issues <laughs> doing that. Um, I used a, a cap on top of this uh, tray, and the air wasn't able to escape, so I have these big, like, weird air bubbly marks that are not good. But you can at least see that um, I have these registration dimples that um, are meant to sit inside of uh, craters. Uh, so here's a here's a vertebrae. Um, so I've got like the holes that this guy is going to sit on top of. And if I press that in as so, you can see that this just fits in there nicely. And that'll that'll prevent um, any slippage radially. The wires on the inside are gonna stay going up and down very nicely. One of the other things that I changed is the proportion of 3D printed disc to uh, squishy silicone vertebrae. So before I had uber thick, like beefy, squishy vertebrae made of silicone, and then these super tiny thin like wafer discs in between. And somebody pointed out that our spine actually works the exact opposite way. We have like big thick, you know, bone vertebrae with tiny little pads of squishiness in between. So I, uh, change the proportions to mimic more of a biological spine. Um, this is going to leave less uh, material to compress and it should alleviate some of the floppiness that I had with the first iteration. So um, <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and uh, modify this and hopefully my second go at casting these parts will uh, turn out a bit better and I'll have a whole stack of these, but they won't have these awful, nasty air bubble craters in them. If you enjoy my videos and seeing the stuff that I make, then consider checking out my Patreon at the link below.